one final piece. So what I'm also doing is taking uh, kind of familiar characters and individuals from my upbringing and having them uh, interpret various elements of evolutionary theory. So this is the beatnik take on group selection. <clears throat> Dude, survival of the fittest is such a bleak vision. Are we really just like a, a freakish collision of selfish genes selfishly promoting their own individual interests? Well, maybe, but sometimes those interests are collective. Okay? Survival of the fittest is a phrase easily twisted by anyone who's eager to justify the meager existence that some people live with. And it's also a phrase that's often enlisted by parasites who are trying to benefit from these differences. So in the 19th century, it was aristocratic eugenicists. In the 20th century, genocidal menaces used survival of the fittest to justify death sentences. And gangsters still use it today to degrade their victims, not to mention the purveyors of disaster capitalism. But none of this is based on scientific evidence. I mean, merely saying that something exists in a state of nature doesn't give it a moral basis. That's a false correlation. Okay, sometimes competition can increase motivation, but evolution is also driven by cooperation. Because bacteria combine into eukaryotic cells and then become the organelles within those symbiotic shells, and there's 50 trillion of those inside our individual selves, so we're like physical spaces where creative collectives dwell. And this applies to the societies that we erect as well. See, natural selection also applies to groups. And the best, the most fittest group makes the best combined moves. So can't we all just get along, whatever we try and do? I mean, group selection just puts me in an altruistic mood, like, yeah, love thy neighbor. What? You need some sugar? No problem. Come by later. Of course I'll do you a favor. Why is that? Because I've, I've got the compassion of a vampire bat. And, you know, it doesn't matter if we're not related. Because you're still my man, and you're still my sister. I feel high, man. This universal love is good stuff. God damn. And you don't have to reciprocate either, because karma is a sophisticated teacher. And karma's not just like energy waves in the ether. No, karma's in the way that everyone hates a cheater. Cheater detection will keep you in check when you jump cues and treat people disrespectfully. So go ahead, take what you want. Run me down. Because I believe what goes around comes around. Liars and thieves and those who try to deceive get dealt with by the immune systems of society. And survival of the fittest? Don't let it baffle you. Because fitness isn't fitness. Nah, it's aptitude between the environment and what's adapted to it. And in social animals, aptitude is attitude. And my attitude is that there's nothing we can't do as a human family group as long as we have rules to keep cheaters in check. Man, I figure we can't lose. We could go to the moon and back this afternoon as long as what's bad for me is also bad for you. So can't we all just get together and have some food and put an end to this endless feud? Is that cool? <laughs>